Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jared Farns and I'm one of the worship leaders here at Calvary. And I'm so excited to have the opportunity to share with you my journey to freedom with you today. You see, I grew up in the church and even went to Christian school up until third grade. All I knew was hearing about God, Jesus, and the Bible. And in kindergarten, at the young age of six, I decided to ask God to come into my life. I remember the moment so vividly, and I'd have to imagine it would be the same for most believers. Uh, but that definitely wasn't the end of my story. In fact, it, it was just the beginning. My mom was always the spiritual leader of our household, and I didn't have a good relationship with my dad. Uh, I didn't get good grades in school, and I always seemed to be getting myself into trouble. Uh, but just right before I went into high school, I, I found music, and I immediately fell in love. Even though I was still constantly getting into trouble, music just had a way of keeping me somewhat grounded just enough to... Uh, not completely spiral out of control. Uh, I started playing drums in church and in bands and didn't seem to care about anything else. I went to church camps and outreach events and I saw kids all around me giving their lives to the Lord and becoming so passionate about Jesus, but just for some reason I, I wouldn't allow myself to be vulnerable enough to, to do the same. Uh, I aged out a youth group and uh, was more or less kicked out to be honest. Uh, but I found my way making music in the world for the first time, and uh, I was unfortunately partaking in everything it had to offer as well. I, I wasn't really living my life for God, so I began compromising on everything and starting uh, living what is referred as the, the sex, drugs, and rock and roll lifestyle. But I had achieved a lifelong dream of getting a record deal and was making music a career, so I convinced myself that uh, I must be doing something right but uh, it only grew my ego, arrogance, and pride, as well as the partying. Uh, this whole time, though, I was still attending church on Sundays, and tr but I was ignoring the Holy Spirit's attempt to get me to change. I would see other people raising their hands in worship and celebrating the life change of someone getting baptized, and I would look all, all around me, but just uh, I was so bitter inside, just thinking, you know, just what am I missing? And why don't I feel what these other people feel so passionately for Jesus? Uh, you know, living with a sense of freedom. All the while, I'm feeling like I'm living in a prison. I was miserable, ashamed, and at rock bottom. But I think that's where God keeps us sometimes in order for Him to uh, get our attention long enough to get us to realize who we need to turn to. Uh, you see, Jesus gave his life for you. He gave his life for me. I had heard this my whole life, but the only thing I was missing this whole time was I never gave him my life. I never surrendered. Pride had kept me from wanting a relationship with God. Pride kept me from experiencing God the way I'd seen other people experience him and live passionately as a follower of Jesus. Pride can cause you to literally live in a prison cell within yourself. I wanted to share, you, uh, share with you Matthew 16, 24. Jesus says, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Jesus went to the cross for you and me, and I have to make the decision every day to take up my cross and deny myself because I'm desperate for Jesus. You know, I'm so joyful that I decided to finally surrender my life, and uh, what a joy it was to finally experience true freedom in Christ. But can I ask you a question? Are you struggling with pride? Is your pride keeping you from a life-changing relationship with Jesus? If so, I want to encourage you today to come to the foot of the cross. Come to the feet of Jesus and don't just give him a piece of your life. You have to surrender everything. Only then can he redeem and restore your life so you can experience true freedom. I love you and God bless you.